Well, winter's here and the holiday season is definitely upon us. Right now is a great time to be considering certain projects outside. I'm Gene Freeman with Complete Land Sculpture and today I'm going to tell you why it's the perfect time for planning your pool. When you're considering building a pool, you want to think about how you're going to actually use the pool. Is it for family use? Is it for entertaining? Is it more visual? Is it therapy or recreational? And then think about the architectural style. We want to look at, you know, do we want such features as diving boards or slides, uh, deep ends, shallow ends, all those kind of features will be put into the recipe of making a great pool. And then we want to take a look at the space that we have and figure out the style and architecture that one would do in their pool. Once we've kind of looked at all the parameters that you want into your particular pool, we'll do a custom design. That custom design will show areas and square footages, and then we'll come out and actually do a paint party and lay that pool out and make sure it fits the sizes and the yard and the shape and the architecture for you. Swimming pools aren't just for swimming anymore, they really are for aesthetics. We're in, we're in the pool less than 10% of the time, and so they become a feature and a room within the outside area of one's home. So when we're trying to get the wow factor in terms of water movement, the only thing that limits us is our, is our ability to create uh, the thoughts and dreams. Uh, once we dream it, we can definitely build it. I think when you add a spa in the pool, it does extend your swim season because many times we can come out there with a small group. I can come out and actually swim in the, in the hot tub or use that during the off seasons. There's some great days like today out there where we're able to go outside. The water temperature of the pool is cool, but the hot tub can immediately get to a nice comfortable zone. It's, it's perfect to be outside and utilize that pool year round. One of the other great elements we, we try to utilize in and around that space to really give it a wow factor and a punch is the use of fire. Fire and water just seems to really go together and can create a, a dramatic effect. It also will give us some warmth and create other go-to areas that are enjoyed by the aesthetic pool that we're not in, but it's, a, it's very pleasing to be in that pool garden oasis and around that fire. The reason I say now is the perfect time for planning your pool is it's non-swim season. But we have to go through the design process, we have to then go through picking out materials and laying it out and once we've agreed on everything there, we've got a long permit process to go through and take care of any city codes, HOA issues and things. So it typically takes about four to six weeks once you have that first initial consultation to kind of get through that process and actually begin the actual digging of the hole and get that going. Uh, depending on the size of the pool and access and the complexity of a pool, it's going to take somewhere between six and 10 weeks to build the average pool garden oasis. And when you're designing your pool, you also want to think about the overall setting and the master plan where your landscape, your drainage, your lighting, uh, any construction areas, pavilions and arbors, patios, those kind of seating areas that come around it so that you can do it all together seamlessly and make it become that incredible pool garden oasis. These are all great features to consider to give your pool that wow factor. I'm Gene Freeman, and from the entire staff at Complete Land Sculpture, we wish you and yours a happy holidays.